So how do you make your own world in Game Builder Garage? First pull out a human, and then pull out a game uh, screen. Connect the game screen node on to the human's top port. Like so. Now I'm actually gonna undo, so I can show you everything I did at the beginning. So what did I do? I pulled out a world and a texture. The reason I pulled out a world was because I wanted to show you guys that you can actually texture the world itself by bucketing the texture. And then if you were to go in game, everything would be green. What you want to do is typically pull out the world and then change the setting to none. If you change the setting to none, before changing it to none, pull out an object. Put this object where the ground would be. The reason you're doing that is so that way you know where the original positioning line is, the way the game is designed to be. Make sure the object is solid but not visible. Then switch the Z axis. The reason you switch axes is and the axes are up here. If you want to realize what I did, I'll undo just one more time. And you can see up there, it's switching to an axis, and we're actually making that ground longer on the side. That's why we do that. Then we switch back to the Y axis. So if I was to play, this is what it looked like. Now what I did was pull out a person and it's exactly where the ground would be if it was the original ground that is designed within the game. I moved the person to the side, pulled out a game screen, and I connected the object texture to the um, object that's on the ground so I could display that you could change the color of that object as well. Typically, it's just this easy to actually make your own levels in Garage Builder. The only other thing is, if you're trying to make backgrounds, don't forget to switch the side views, the axis is up at the top. And all you have to do is click the right object and make it longer on the Y axis after cloning it. Now all you have to do is clone the objects, put them where they need to be, and make them as long as the level needs to be. You shouldn't have to clone textures unless you're making a new color or a new design. It doesn't have to be a paint bucket the way that I did. It could also be grass or something if you know how to pixel art. And my pixel art tutorial should be coming out soon. Outside of that, you can just plug the left and right sticks where they need to be into the person. Left and right. Up and down. And then you can play test your area. You can check out my first person uh, shooter tutorials if you want to know how to make this into a first person view as well as turn it into a shooter. And you can also check out my 2D tutorial. It should appear up there at the top, right up here. That's all my tutorials that I've made currently. But this is how you can make your own levels in Game Builder Garage. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. You can check out my how to make and customize music and make good music very easily in Game Builder Garage as well. All these tutorials can be found in my playlist. I do Dreams PS4 on my channel, and this is a game that I made using Dreams PS4. Again, thank you so much for your time. Whether you subscribe or not, I hope this helps you create, and I am a creation channel. So I just upload my creations, and if you guys enjoy them, thank you guys so much. It helps a whole lot that you guys even viewed this. It helps my confidence. Thank you. Either way. So, like, what it's saying is, um, you know, usually after three hits, you'll fall down no matter what um but if you're blocking then you won't faint so like that's the uh trick and you can dodge out of it